17 snoozes later. Not again. So, hi there, welcome to this vlog style video. This is probably my first sort of style vlog video I've done. So a little bit nervous, but I'm gonna roll with it. So uh, I've called this video, The Lazy Photographer. And uh, why have I said that? Well, it may be a bit extreme calling it that. I don't mean everyone's lazy, but um, sometimes it's really hard to get up and out of bed to get um, sun sunrises. As everyone knows, the best light and probably the best pictures you normally get due to the colours and the lighting is a sunrise and sunsets. But not everyone can get up for sunrise. I struggle, you know, for various reasons. It can be your job, you know, extreme hours. You know, you can have a family, you know, you could be knackered, you have young children. And like I say, not everyone can get up really early in the morning and get them amazing shots of the gorgeous colours in the sky you know so this video is about me i've got up a bit late uh, and it's about me just coming along to brighton to see some of the famous landmarks everyone's got a picture of but i'm just going to show you you don't always need amazing light in the morning to get good shots i mean it's good shots all times of the day you've got to make the most of the light that you've got in front of you so here i am at brighton we're at the west pier so I've got the West Pier behind me, don't you can see that. So I'm going to take some shots of that. And obviously, we've got the BA i360 behind me here. Um, I'm just going to take some shots of that while I'm here. Um, and then maybe have a walk along Brighton Seafront um, and see what shots I can get and just show you, you don't have to get up at four in the morning to get really good shots. You can do it any time. You've just got to put the effort in. That's what this uh, vlog is all about. So let's see what we can do. So at the moment I'm rolling. I've got my Nikon D750 full frame camera. I've got my Tamron 15 to 30 lens. Um, one of the benefits of coming out during the day and not sunrise is I don't actually have to have my tripod out. You, you know, you can get more creative. You can get creative with a tripod, but you can also get really creative without a tripod because uh, You've got more manoeuvrability, you can get down really low on the floor, get some really sort of different shots, um, you know, and just see where the scene takes you, really. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get about, take some shots, I'm going to post them up as I go, and then we'll have along the sea, walk along the seafront, and I'll show you some of the sights of Brighton. Um, also, one of the other things I wanted to mention is uh, during the day, sometimes you get the clear blue skies. It's not my cup of tea really, the clear blue skies. I think it's a little bit boring. It's a little bit cloudy today, which I think is ideal for the moody shot. So I like that sort of uh, dramatic sort of sky. You know, it gives it sort of some interest as well. But the only other thing that I've got a problem with is uh, with my Tamron 15 to 30, I need a specialist filter holder, which I haven't got. I've got it for my Tamron 24 to 70. Um, but I don't want to use that, I love my 15 to 30. But I don't really want to pay out hundreds of pounds now for another filter set. So uh, I'm going to have to do some sort of Photoshop, sort of just balance the exposure as best as I can and get some detail in the shadows and the highlights 
and then um, yeah, just see what I can bring back in Photoshop. So let's just uh, get some pictures and see what happens. So uh, stay with me. So I've just finished doing a time lapse. I've done a 10 second time lapse. It's took 25 minutes. Not sure what it's going to look like, but I'm just testing everything at the moment. Um, so now I'm just going to have a little walk along Brighton Seafront to different uh, places and see what pictures I can get. So I'll probably head sort of west towards uh, the bandstand first of all. You've got a jetty sticking out. So that's behind me in this direction. And then I'm going to change go east and head back towards the pier down this way don't you can see it behind me and then uh let's see what pictures we can get during the day and see what uh see what they look like so stay tuned all right so i've made it to the bandstand um, a really nice structure, a lot of uh, history here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and I'm going to take some pictures of the path leading in into the canopy, uh, another famous shot of Brighton and we're going to use the patterns and uh, the structure itself to try and get a good, a good shot so uh, we've got to try and avoid these people in the background but uh, it doesn't matter if there's people in it. So while these people are here I'm just uh, going to be running at 500 for second f11 iso 200 i'm just going to focus on the canopy and then there we go a little bit dark just going to go 400 for a second do the same shot focused on the pillows or the pillars sorry and then i uh, try and get everything sharp now i'm just going to move back down to the path And then when these people move, I'm just going to use the pathway to get some uh, some pictures here. And I'm uh, going to use the patterns of the stairs with my ultra wide angle and try and get something really nice. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a picture. There we go. We've got the sun's peeking through behind there on the left. Exposure is really good. And I'm going to show you the difference about getting down really low, trying to centralise it, get that symmetry in. Uh, I'll show you the difference between a normal height picture and somebody who gets lower down. So what I'm going to do, look. So we've got the symmetry of left and right of the pathway, the patterns of the squares, the ceramic squares. Now let's see, I've already focused and the exposure's, exposure's locked in, so I don't have to worry about it. I'll just take some pictures and you, I'll put on the screen the difference in the pictures from up, like, yeah like eye height and sort of kneeling down as well so so getting low oh get my builders there we go using back button focusing try and get as central as possible just different angles while I'm here exposure's locked in just keep taking pictures moving forwards ah. But what I'm going to do now is take a picture facing backwards but we need to check our exposure because it's a little bit darker on that side because the sun is behind us so yeah the exposure is telling us it's uh, going to be too dark for a second so I'm going to drop it down to 160th of a second and take a picture and that's really nicely exposed use these pillars sort of to frame everything in gonna get down low and there's a couple there snogging right in front I think they want their picture taken so yeah so there we go so another great structure so not sure which way to go looks like they're filming on the jetty so let's head to the next location let's do the BAI 360 see what we can do there see you in a sec
So here I am, um, we've got these uh, sort of spiral, these pillars. And what I'm going to do is something different. I'm going to do a, a mini planet. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. I'll show you how to do it. I've done it in a different video. Got the i360 in the background. Um, grab the West Pier on that side as well. And then all these amazing buildings over behind me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get central to the pillars. I've already set up my camera and focused. I focused on the pillars. Um, can, for this sort of shot, you've got to work in full manual. You've got to make sure the white balance is uh, set. So I'm working in cloudy. Um, working at 500 for a second, ISO 200 and F11. It's a bit bright in that side, so it's gonna might look a bit strange from back to front. We'll see how it goes when I pull it together. And also with people moving in and out of the shot, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna turn out, but let's give it a go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck my arms into my, my belly and then uh, make the horizon level. And then I'm not gonna do it in vertical. And then what I'm gonna do is just take a shot and then move to the side and move around in a 360 degree position and then I'm going to put all these shots in Photoshop and do a mini planet like I say if you want to know how to do it check the link in the description and I'll show you how to put it all together as well so that's it it's 360 degree shot um, you can do it handheld, it's better with a tripod, but handheld's fine now with the advance in technology. So uh, yeah, let's see what the picture looks like. quite make it as far as the pier today but um, I spent a lot of time around the West Pier and the uh, British Airways i360 doing you know time lapse for the first time pretty much on my E4K uh, so it's a bit of an experience setting everything up trying to see what it's like to vlog and put the audio together and everything so I'm not sure it's going to turn out um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a part two of this vlog and then perhaps come back in a week or two weeks and start from the location I just got to near the Odeon Cinema and head on to the pier and see what shots I can get. Now this video is all about people who can't get up to like sunrise um, and some people can't make sunset either because of family commitments. So uh, yeah, it's just to show you what sort of pictures you can get during the day. It doesn't have to be amazing light. but. Not all amazing light is through colour as well. I mean, we had some nice clouds today which had some drama to the, the video or the pictures. And uh, yeah, and when the sun peeks through as well, you get some nice shadows on the ground. We found shapes, um, some architecture. Uh, also, we've done a mini planet, Let's see how that turns out. And uh, yeah, I had some fun doing it. So, uh, so thanks to my wife who helped me. She's here with me. And uh, yeah, I've got the look. But uh, yeah, so I had fun doing it. I'm going to put it together, see what it looks like, and then, you know, hopefully there'll be a part two soon. So if you liked it, you want to see more, don't forget, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for future uploads as well. So uh, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon.